Yes. And, uh, and, and like I mentioned at the beginning of the show when we were reading that Psalms, today we're just here to declare open heavens. Me leo sija kam ku preach. Leo ni come that together in agreement, in agreement in Jesus name that we're going to agree open heavens of our lives. Wase huku nje, wana posting tu na wananga watu wana post social media and all that. But watu wana kipitia, people cannot even open up to say, but God knows. God sees it. God mm -hmm. knows how much you're struggling. God knows what you're going through. But unless you speak words unless you declare some things into your life they will n you will never see them you will never experience them but god has given us that power the power of prayer the power of declaration together if you agree the bible says if to uh, if we agree together it has been agreed in every whatever we bind here on earth is bound in heaven is whatever we agree together in the name of jesus christ it shall come we shall come to see of it so to, today we just want to agree together open heavens over our lives no more shut heavens because there's nothing as sad in a man's life to operate under under shut heavens. Shut heavens in a mansion, your life will not move. You will stagnate. If you're waiting for to go to school, you never go to this school. If you're waiting for money, that money will never come. If you're expecting something, it will never come. Yes, you will never grow. You'll never progress in life. That's the, the bad thing about that's the bad thing about a uh, shut heavens. But God, God is so much in the business of restoration in this month of November and December. If you hear God very well, God is just telling us he wants to restore one. He wants to open our heavens. Open heavens comes with restoration. So how about we just agree together in the name of Jesus Christ that our heaven's going to open. Our heaven's going to open. And when the heavens are open, there is a lot of blessings that comes with open heavens, all right? God, God, and like I said, God is in the business of opening our, our, our heavens. A lot of things can come with open heavens. I, as we can see in Hosea chapter 2, verse 21, 23, God says it shall come to pass in that day that I will answer. God, is, God wants to answer to you. God wants to answer to your heavens what will God answer according to Hosea 2 says the Lord I will answer the heavens God wants to answer your heavens there are people who have been making prayers ever since January they're wondering what's up what's going on do my prayers reach heaven your heavens your prayers have been reaching heavens but today we want to take a different step by just declaring and ordering the heavens that let them open up because God right now wants to answer to your heavens he will answer the heavens and they shall answer the earth when the heavens open they rain you know the bible in atomi rain just to mean that things blessings those that have your name on it there is a blessing specifically najinayako you blessing ileno you've been trusting god upon since the beginning of the year i don't know how long you've been trusting that video i'll kind trust your god for three years four years for something in the will of god god wants to release it to you in your life today, today, today. We are trusting God for a 24-hour miracle, instant miracle. The God of immediately, the God of now. I'm going to do it now. But only if you believe. Don't go and say at the beginning of the show to come with an expectant heart. Uki kambele amungu unasema, he, mi raundi God lazima ni tendei. Uki tuni jesi saku, si tuni ingi tu just ordinary familiarity. No, no, no. Come with an expectant heart. Unasema, even through this channel, I'm Gonna get my blessing today, today. God wants to answer your prayer today, today, but only if we believe together in the name of Jesus Christ. Not by our own strength, but by the God of miracle. God's gonna do it, do it, not for our sake, but for his name's sake. He's gonna do it. Alil Fika point, God was almost giving up on the children of Israel. But Akasema, because of my sake, for my name's sake, I'm gonna bless these people. I'm gonna take them to the promised land. God has reached that point with you that I'm going to bless you because of my because of the sake of my name. So God wants to open the heavens for you. When the heavens open, my goodness, una progress in life. Your business will make sense. I know right now the economy is so tight on everyone, but that divine supply, he, he wants to supply it unto you, unto you. You know, if you go ahead in verse 22, the word of the Lord says, the earth shall answer with green. As long as the heavens have opened, the earth now answers. Because 
figuratively mvua inamaanisha baraka so inamaanisha kila kazi unafanya ina multiply ina increase you see the earth shall answer with grain with new wine grain ni ile grain ni whatever you're doing increases yeah new wine is the part of god with oil that is the holy spirit the anointing of the holy spirit they shall answer jezreel now jezreel now you put in there your name they shall answer you 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 jacob you esther you who you miriam you next you jaffers you've been waiting upon the lord but god is now answering you together all right and i like also what deuteronomy 28 12 it also speaks about open heavens and what god answers the heavens with it it says the lord will open to you his good treasures all right the heavens to give the rain to your land in its season when that season of breakthrough comes you will not miss it because it's possible to miss because it, it could be your time for a breakthrough but with shut heavens you know you cannot see it but once the heavens are opened you will able to see it when i say open heavens it's possible that can your heavens can be shut they can be shut all right not that you've not been praying but because you've been praying but they can be shut there are systems in the spiritual realms, principle that can be used to shut your heavens through witchcraft, divination, sorcery, mauchawi nyingi, wickedness from the man's heart. But you are going to rise above that because you are a different person. You are a child of God. So we are going to rise above the shut heavens. The heavens are opening over our lives this month of November. God is going to supply to us in this month of November and December. Right? So... What I was trying to say is just in declaration, we're going to declare Deuteronomy 28 verse 12. This one is really so personal with me. All right. Deuteronomy, where it says you, you now you put your name there. Where it says you, as you now put your name there and you declare and believe it and come that with that expectant heart, it's going to open over your life. And November and December can never be the same in your life again. Everything you declare in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm walking under open heavens. My life is under open heavens. My career is under open heavens. My business is under open heavens. My family is op under open heavens. Divine you know, health, my health is under open heavens. And you're going to see the difference in your life. Inenda kwa tofauti kabisa si ya kawaida. As I finalize, Deuteronomy 28, all right, verse 12. It say, the Lord will open to you. Okay, we are putting now our name. Now put your name there. The Lord will open to Miriam his good treasure in Jesus' name. The heavens to give the rain to my land in its season and to bless all the work of my hand. I shall lend to many nations, but I shall never borrow. Yeah, that is my punchline, that I will never borrow money from people, but instead, because God has opened the heavens for me, I'm the one who will lend to many nations, not just to anyone, to nations, yeah? To nations and to the entire nations, to many nations can be, to, you can lend to people <laughs> in America because the word of God says this. Because, you know, God has exalted his word above his name. He's not man to lie, oh, he can never lie. Hallelujah, amen. I hope you've been, you've been blessed and beginning today, have that faith that your life can never be the same again. We've already, to, together we've agreed in Jesus' mighty name that we are now walking under open heavens and divine supply is our portion in Jesus, in Jesus' mighty name. That brings me to the end of the inspiration vibe, all right? Uh-huh. Nixie. Amen, amen. I think all I can say is a big, big, big amen to that declaration amen. at the mm. end. And you must have many punch like yes, and also the way you have finished about, mm. you know, the open heavens about mm. um, not gonna borrow anymore, <laughs> just lending and lending to nations. And even, you know, uh, giving, mm. giving, you know, uh, and amen to that that word for amen. today. Mm. And I God, I could bless too, son. God, I could bless you. Yes. Yes. Amen, yes. amen. To, I receive all those blessings. Yes. Don't take work, divine supply, mm. excess supply. At our pandishe. Well, mm. yeah. I can never lack. Yes. <laughs> I can never. <laughs> yes. Yes. And God yeah. will send rain to my, my uh -huh. shamba. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> 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 yeah. Uka, upande wangu. Yeah. Di, that divine rain. Yeah. 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 Ah, yes. Yes. Ali, ali, ali mm. during, yes. Was it famine or was it drought? Yes, uh, it's fam uh, drought. It was during yes, drought. drought. What mm. They didn't have anything. But yeah. Yeah, alienda God aka instruct mm. enda upande. upande. Na alipanda na kavuni. Yeah, I can imagine how eh. people were looking at you, eh, you know, exercising weird. the faith and ah, the direction. Ah, alifuzo your place. Eh. 
Si ni mimi hizi ni, 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 ni gani? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was so abnormal like yeah. how now. Mm. The people say he prospered, he continued prospering yeah. until he became very prosperous. Mm. Ilisinya wa say your area, wakamfukuza, kusema I see. Mm. Si tunalalanja na una panda unavuna with what yeah. rain? Mm -hmm. Ah, <laughs> those are the miracles of people who walk under mm. divine supplies who are, who are trusting in God yeah. for for miracles mm. unexplainable mm. ah in our church we call them notable miracle yes miracle in happen i do not note i see mm -hmm. this he. one huh? ah, yeah. mm. you see i'm on a dam yes we ask god to come and do that which mm. only him can do in our lives in jesus mighty name amen yeah next before we before we end yes music in billy tattoo yes as we praise god all and right we thank him for the miracles that he has already done in our lives all right hallelujah <laughs>